Thanks to Sync family, we are back with Double Dark Boy New. It's good. So I want to know where you get the name from. I mean, you are you have chocolate skin. I see the chocolate skin. <laughs> so I'm guessing it's from that. Yeah. All right. So explain to us what what dark, double dark I mean, boy. Dark, dark boy came from the complexion of my skin. Okay. And double new came from a childhood name that was given to me by my my siblings. So they called you new new. Yeah. Why? Because you're the new sibling. Yeah. Pretty much. And pretty it stuck much with that, you. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> you know, don't overthink things. Don't overthink things. Sometimes it's just right down your face. Simple, right? There you go. <laughs> so, but you don't want appreciate people calling you Nunu. Nah. So you had to, you know, thug it out a little bit more and say double dot boy Nunu. There you go. Gotcha. Gotcha. They call you Didi? Nah. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> double dot. All right. All right. So as far as production is concerned, so a lot of people say they want to be a, 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 a rapper. A lot of people say that's what they want to go into. They want to be a rapper. What makes... What 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 is it that makes you say okay I'm gonna make it? What makes you say okay I'm gonna have tunnel vision and I'm gonna make it versus everybody else? They're taking that same route. Why is it that you didn't say okay let me go get a nine to five because I know that's that that is consistent money coming in? Why isn't it that you said all right let me fall back on something else? Um, truly because it's basically what 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 drives me like my focus is what I don't let like what other people choices and what they think of me dictates what I want for myself. Mm. You know what I mean? So that'll never define who I am or what the outside world thinks. Love it. So it sounds like you're pretty motivated. What is your regimen? Like, okay, so you do, you wake up and you say, all right, today I'm going to wipe bars. Today I'm going to do this. Like, you know, what is it that you do to say, all right, let me keep, let me keep on this track because I mean, uh, industry period, any field in entertainment, it takes a lot of grit. So do you have a specific regimen where you say, okay, I'm going to wake up. These are my goals for today. Or do you, are you the type of person you just go with the flow? Yeah, I just basically go with the flow and let my heart send me into whatever direction it, mm. it, it does. So what's your outlook in the next three years? My outlook is, is everything that, that stands for me today. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like the future is today. So I never like really say what future holds because mm. I'm making the future right now okay all right got it got it so how does this interfere in your personal life I mean I can't say it's an interference because like you you live two lives like once you're an artist you have an artist life and you have like a, a family life you know right I mean? you got to make time for your family right you got to also make time for what you love to do mm. but you can't let what you love to do overshadow what needs to be loved you know what mm -hmm. i mean so you have a you feel like you have a consistent balance yeah balance ah. basically a balance are you a person that you you pretty much have a close tight-knit um you know support base or is it just all right you have a big team of people you have an entourage that's supporting you i mean i am my entourage and mm. I, I am who i am my support so you know i never like really focus on who supports me and who wants to support me because that fades it does. People comes and goes, you know what I mean? So it's basically it's you that, that keep that consistency, consistency flowing for yourself. Got it. So your dad is from St. Lucia. Yeah. So your dad, I'm pretty sure island man, island things, they teach you some things that, not to say other cultures don't, but it's something about, you know, that harsh um, upbringing from the island that, I don't know, the way they deliver it. I don't know if it's in their delivery. Of course, the way they've experienced it for some reason, it's a little different from other cultures. I'm sure mm -hmm. other cultures can say the same. So what is one thing that he's instilled in you that you feel like you're gonna permeate you know, to the universe? I mean, he always embedded in me that um, people don't make you. People um, don't allow people to dictate who you are like, and where you're gonna go. Just stand for yourself and stand, what you, stand for what you love. Love it, love it. I love that. In your spare time, what you what, what are you rocking with? What are you listening to besides Lil Wayne? I mean, I listen to all, all all type of music. I listen to a lot of gospel. You listen to gospel? Yeah, I listen to gospel. I as well. hear, I hear it in your track, like the way. Yeah, you that's lay. that's what kind of like led me. It's kind of like a spiritual, inspirational track if you really yep. listen to it, because that's. The way I was brought up in my childhood led me to kind of like right from that perspective. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's, it's all true. If you listen to the song, it's me. It's, mm. it's nothing I could have made up. So you attend the church regularly? Not like I used to, but I, I'm going to start back. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, we're going to talk about that when we get back. Sex with Sex TV. We'll be back. We're on a spiritual journey with Double Dark Way New. There you go.